Hello everyone, and welcome back to Dark Tide. Today, I wanted to show you all how you can get some cool looking cosmetics early on in the game. Because the prison outfit kind of looks like shit. <laughs> and uh, at this point in the game, if you join a lobby and your character has cool looking armor, you, you basically get like instant respect. It, you know, <laughs> it's like one of those GTA sort of moments, like, you know, plus respect sort of thing. And in some cases, you honestly don't really have to work very hard for it. Like, my Ogryn is only level 4. I've leveled up other classes to way, way higher, but, like, you can be under level 5 and still have a pretty cool looking character, at least. So, this is how you do it. You want to go into your escape menu and then select penances. This is uh, essentially a series of challenges that are related to your so overall character. Uh, there's a lot of them about different things, but if you go into class and then select your class, you'll be able to see the ones that you can complete and the ones that you already have. So, there's some of them that are towards the end, which are kind of like your high difficulty ones where you have to do a certain action on that difficulty and honestly if you try level 3 or level 4 difficulty uh, at a low level you, you gonna, you're gonna get ripped a new one but if you just choose the ones where you don't have to worry about difficulty you can just complete these whenever you can get around to them and you can turn out to have a good outfit so one of these ones uh, yeah basically just countered a plague ogren's charge with your own pretty easy to do and especially with how some of the bosses come up in a lot of the missions, you know, you can actually get that done quite easily. Uh, and then another one is the corruption mission, when you take out a couple of tentacles of the sort of chaos corruption, and then it spurts out a little, you know, eye thing. Yeah, if you destroy that with a little grenade box, then hey, you're sorted. Now, obviously, you don't have a grenade box on every single class, and that's why these challenges are class specific. So, the challenges that I just completed may be very different for you if you play as a preacher. So, depending on what class you are, you may find some of these challenges to be pretty hard, and some of them to be pretty straightforward and easy. So, you may notice that some of them you'll be able to do almost early on in the game, but there are others that you'll just have to keep working for as you progress throughout the game. Uh, but that's pretty much about it for how these systems work, and how you can use that to check your progress on them. Just as a final note, in past Vermintide games, there has been an in-game store that you can purchase cosmetics from, and we may see that again in Darktide with one of these characters that we currently can't talk to. But uh, in the past Vermintide games, you have been able to get most cosmetics with in-game currency, and I hope that that stays the same. Like. I always prefer it if a game is able to celebrate your efforts with just a cool outfit for all of the blood, sweat, and tears. But I also don't like it if they just give you everything if you flash your mum's credit card. But at the end of the day, that's just my opinion. So let me know what you all think about this in the comment section down below. Do you think that Dark Tide is going to be another game that joins modern gaming and its trend of microtransactions, or do you think that there may be some kind of a balance from Fat Shark? Let me know what you think, and if you did enjoy the video, or if you found it helpful, then you know what to do. I've been Kiv, and I'll see you all on the next one.